All right, let's go, guys. So back from the range with my uh, Ruger American uh, 204. Uh, I got my uh, Silencer Co. Uh, Hybrid 46M on there. First time using it. I'm a fan. I'm sold. I'm running everything suppressed. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so hand loads where we use you know the Match Rifle, Shooter's World, uh, Winchester's Match Small Rifle Primers, and Spear. 39 grain TNT varmint bullets. And then we used, uh, so this was second fire, this is third fire nozzle brass, and this was annealed. Um, first group we got, so these are, I got four different charge weights. These are five shots. First group we got was a .934. Second one was a .712. That's kind of an interesting group there. Um, this one here was a 1.086 um would have been tighter but this one here flew out and i started seeing some pressure this was my last one i shot and you can see i pierced a primer which i've never had that happen with this caliber before so that was interesting so i was like hmm and it was also 50 degrees outside so it's not cold but not warm so like, yeah, so probably getting too high and then the last group here you can see shot really well a 0.554 inch group but primers that's pressure signs right there so here's the last group the second to last uh the second group and the first group so um i might try shooting these two groups again and then load down a little bit and see how it goes i mean these are cooking this one in velocity was almost four thousand feet this was 3900 3880 and 3860 so um we're cooking we got more than enough velocity everything's good on that account oh um guys uh i have an etsy store where i sell some stuff on etsy to kind of help pay for my um videos and the etsy store is called extruded customs i just designed this um it's 3d printed it's a headspace comparator thing and a place for your calipers to go so if you guys need one um you can shoot me an email message me or look me up on uh, Etsy, it's Extruded Customs, and you'll see that, and I got their stuff on there. Uh, that's one way to help support channel if any of you guys are interested in doing that. Um, there's that. Uh, the other thing is, is I've, I've got a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to be doing 204 Ruger. Maybe not this rifle, probably in my uh, AR platform, um, because I think I'm kind of getting a little bit dialed in. It's unfortunate I was too high on pressure, because that's that's really good group. I'm thinking maybe we'll find a better group on the lower end. Otherwise, I mean, that's not terrible. Um, that's just weird. Um, I did have my first three shots here were these, and that was the same charge weight as the first one. So you kind of saw three shots, three shots, and then one, two. So it could be just barrel heat from that. Um, so maybe I'll take my time a little bit more next time. Um, let me know what you guys think. Unfortunately, I got pressure signs there. That worried me a little bit, but the other ones were kind of okay um and i was watching the velocity and i was looking for bolt lift but these weren't too scary so i decided to roll with it and it turned out okay but definitely not be okay in uh warmer temperature so um yeah guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys later